There you go. It's Yokel. Uh, the murders at Karlov Mansion. Uh, uh, stuff has come out, and uh, so it is a new opportunity for fun ways to play. Constructed. Hmm. There we are. <laughs> yes, I am not a professional. I don't get paid for this. And I probably shouldn't. Uh, so, the idea of this deck, the reason for this deck, I had the idea today while I was at... Um, well, Saturday noon magic rather than Friday night. But uh, the idea behind it was Tat Tatiova, an aftermath analyst in particular, being what I want to win with. That is the not very likely, but I have gotten there if the guy didn't concede first. Uh, I was uh, I was going to be able to have a nice big turn of, oh, together with Spelunking, right? So a bunch of lands come back from the graveyard after you mill yourself, um, and they uh, are untapped rather than tapped. Uh, and they have haste and they're three three flyers. So that's a fun way to win, which is I, I just like it a lot. Um now green blue of course has problems in general with dealing with opposing threats. I have gone with witness protection because it is cheap. And uh therefore you can usually cast it if you need to and be able to pay the extra for, you know, if they're trying to counter it or something. Um, it, I've done it on Shieldred, the Apocalypse, and works great. Um, it, it's really good, and I, I did win that game, actually. Uh, I won it with Tyranex Rex, Rex, Tyranex Rex, which I put in also because of, uh, Mono Blue. Um, but I gotta tell you, it is a blast to have somebody, like, kill Tyranex Rex twice and the next turn bring them back, bring them back with uh, Fossil Sky Turtle or Season of Renewal or maybe, uh, she, she, I don't even know. Whatever. This dude. Um, all right. So, other thing to deal with threats, Lost in the Maze. Uh, and Consuming Tide, uh, which is really good against Go Wide. Um, again, we're not in colors that uh, have good removal, so you got to make do, right? Um, Doppelgang really was what like kept me in the game that I would have won the way I wanted to win. Um, I just put this dude in, uh, basically animating lands is just a good thing in general, uh, because if they go into the graveyard, then they can come back from the graveyard, uh, and this also brings them all back, um, because I'm running two of these. Uh, I got this in here just for value, I mean, I'm getting up to that level, and, uh, means my spells afterwards can't be countered. I just put Ren and Seven back in. Uh, I'm sure it's good in here. Uh, I just, for a while, I thought that it was like a little on the slow side. But uh, we got this. I put in a couple of extra um, gates to make sure that it has three targets. If I don't, if there's not like a... Uh, Enchantment I want to destroy or something like that. Uh, this guy comes back every time, you know, if he's not exiled or something. Uh, like, I always have that many uh, permanents. Uh, I have one case of the locked hothouse. 
a lot of fun if you get going, uh, but it is useless until you have seven lands. Uh, I don't have a bunch of land searching, which maybe that's a mistake. Maybe I should be bumping up the Cosmium Confluence, for instance, but really it's in the beginning when uh, you're hurting for lands, not when you're at five. Um, so I'm going to go ahead. Oh, and of course, this is to mill, but it also is really great together with Case of the Locked Hothouse, uh, because if you run up on something that isn't a uh, land or a creature, you can either put it in graveyard or put it behind a couple of other things. Um, and yeah, I included this guy too, because he can get big and he can bring back stuff from the graveyard, lands from the graveyard also. So uh, it's it's a fun deck. This is a fun deck. Now it is a casual deck. Um, I have not played this in ranked. I don't want to play it in ranked because I want to win in a weird way with this. I have other decks that are competitive. This is a casual. I don't want to change it from that. I just want to make it better at doing what I'm trying to do uh, and try to survive until I get there. And it works about half the time in casual. It's a lot of fun, though. I was really tickled by the idea of bringing back like 15 lands. It didn't wind up being that much milling in the end. I had uh, I had a lot of uh, milling in the initial build. Start off with this, so I have access to the blue mana and surveil. Uh. Yeah, okay. I'll say blue because there are some things that do require uh, three blue. I'll do the Spiel on King, get that out, gain the life. You know, I, I just now I'm beginning to look at what this other guy's doing because that's how I am rolling with this particular deck. Okay. Um, yeah, that seems like a good idea, particularly since he doesn't get to uh, use it right now. Uh, I mean, he can use it on itself, but it just does the one thing. He doesn't get the, the guy he should have probably... Oh, I guess, yeah, that way you get some mana ramp. Maybe I should have thought about that. <laughs> now, if he kills him, that's okay. We have uh, the potential of bringing back lands with him. There's now two lands in the graveyard. Though, if I put him out now, he'll probably get killed. I could just do the locked hothouse. But it doesn't do anything at all for us.
So I guess I have to present some kind of threat. I mean, truthfully, uh, the uh, the visionary over here might be something I have to play out because right now I don't have any real lens or whatever and could get me there, but I think I might put out the uh, hothouse instead. Ah, look who it is. All right. <sighs> Witness protection. I had to crack a wild card to get a second one of those. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. And I'm going to hope he kills him instead of him. Because I really do want the land. Which will come into play untapped. Really, I'm just buying time. To the extent I can. Until I can make use of the case of the locked hot house. Yeah, I'm not surprised. All right. Please him. Kill him. Okay. And good. I hit one and it includes that. Now we got the case of the locked hot house. Now, granted, he's got this dude out. I'm probably dead really soon. Okay. What do we have in our graveyard that we might be able to bring back? Consuming tide. That'd be okay. Hit me with that. Mm. No. Upkeep? Oh, darn it. <laughs> well, that is not fun. All right. I need more mill, the question. Because it has to be a balance. It has to be a balance. Ah, 
Now, this is not very refined at this point, but I really like it. It actually came out of my, I was thinking about um, kind of a mill, collect evidence, detective kind of thing. And I separated it out into two. I have not worked on the other one because I, I was really enjoying that. The thing is, spelunking is like super important, but four copies might be excessive. We could do another aftermath analyst. Um, All right. I routinely have to delete decks because I make too many. I actually, I have some that I'll be doing uh, videos on after this. Um, and they're fine, you know, uh, they're good, good decks. Um, I even did a little, like, revision of red deck wins, which worked okay. Actually, it worked quite well. I just added in some scapegoats. That'll be green. Um, Yeah, whatever. He doesn't have any instance. That's interesting. I'm just going to chill. I have an otherworldly gaze. Any land I see, I want to put in the graveyard. It's pretty darn good. Mana ramping when you do it that way. Ooh, I do want that. But I don't need a second one of them. That's not fun. I'll leave this out in case there's like a whatever. Um, I will get a green.
like a board wipe of some kind. Ah! Oops. All right, I guess I'll just try to kill him. Fine. Got Season of Renewal. I haven't seen any of my enchantment creatures yet. Jerk. Now, in theory, he could have the merfolk that would uh, keep me from, you know, bringing back these things. Um, so I'm just going to do it now. I guess I could have done this first. And... Let's do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You. Jerk. And, uh, oh, target. Oh, right, that's fast effect. It's a sorcery one. Go get him. Having that kind of mana is ridiculous at like any stage of the game really that's just fun like i did season of renewal he responded i did the i used Three mana, three more mana for the turtle uh, for another season of renewal. And then I did that and got in front of his exiling. And then I still had a land to spare. That's fun. I don't, I don't care. That's like, and the thing is, there are other decks out there that are, um, that have some similarities to this that I've seen, um, in terms of like, they have doppelgang, but that's like the big idea is doppelgang. And they have like man lands that are caves that they search up with the thing that I have one copy of. I didn't include that. Um, cause 
you know, my, as far as I'm concerned, my lands are man lands without it. I suppose on the draw, but I don't have any, I don't have any blue. I'm hoping I draw into some blue sometime soon. Or two more non-blue options, I suppose, soon. All right, at least he's not actively coming after me yet, so. I'm fine with control v control. I just need a little help from the shuffler. That ain't it. All right. Sad. Sad. Shouldn't have kept. All right, so reanimate. One more. I can get blue, blue. And the one that uh, you declare the color. And do otherworldly gaze twice. But is this the one that exiles cards from graveyards? All right, doing seven damage. Yeah, I mean, that's effective. Okay. <clears throat> so technically I realize after the fact had I done this I could have brought back a blue source the next turn but I mean I'm way behind that was uh the lands are a little I upped the forests because of the um, the one ramp spell that also does caves uh, in your graveyard. Uh, and usually, I don't regret that, but got a little, a little unlucky there. You know, bud. I don't. I should. I definitely should have the other. Um, Ren. In the deck. Because it makes them all. Yeah, I had it in, in like when I was just kind of like brainstorming. But. I was thinking, well, I'm only, I only have two colors, but clearly. I mean, every element of that is, you know, pretty useful. This guy's not showing up. Um, 
Let me uh, skip. Let me throw that in over one of those four copies of the RAM spell. Um, I think the best part of magic is, uh, doing stupid stuff like this, you know? The worst part might be the server. All right. So, take out one of those. The ramp is nice, but I mean, it's like a lot of the time, nothing compared to what you get with um, one of those detectives. Uh, what a great card. I mean, it's like efficient. Like a one, three body's not terrible for three. Um, and if you're trying to mill, it just can make a huge difference. And combining that with uh, Spelunking, uh, you can have a like stupid turn. Like, whereas normally you'd have to wait. Should work. Okay. You're going against another Miller. Looks like he's a reanimate. I think I need to do this so that I can do spelunking because he's in black and could kill my lone speaker in all likelihood, depending upon how important he thinks it is. Okay. That's how he's going to reanimate. Is it? Dies. We're going to go with this. Nice. Whatever. I mean, I'm guessing he'll be sacrificing guys. Um, measure costs five.
I'll go get a blue. I have one island in my deck specifically for that reason. That is the only way I can search for them. Now, I know that I have recursion. <laughs> he killed his own guy. Ah. It's funny. All right. Um... I'll... Get rid of Season of Renewal and Lost in the Maze, which is, a, oh no, I can do that. Okay. All right. Well, that is a method. I like it. Um, get rid of that. I get rid of this. Well, they're both bad. Wait, 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 wait. Cancel, cancel, cancel. That and that. All right. <laughs> what? What just happened? Because they become legendary creatures citizen if there's multiple legendary creatures. Um, whatever. Here. If you want to reanimate him. No, you're just going to do this again. Wait. Yeah, yeah you got another one. I 
I can just discard this when he like brings that guy back. I do wish I had more mana, but at the same time, it is what it is, you know. Hey. There's four in there right now. One, two, three, so six. Fantastic. Now, I haven't spent any effort on graveyard hate because uh there's another deck i have a version of um i came up with that version myself but i have another deck where it's like anytime a uh creature leaves your graveyard you make a uh Plus one, or an O, O one plant token. Mm -hmm. Um, and uh, put a plus one, plus one count on it. So like the whole deck is, ooh, I want that. But now it doesn't do the same thing, actually. Um, all right, well, witness protection and uh, I guess Shigeki. Wait, let me make sure I'm tapping this right. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Shigeki, witness protection. I think my goal might be to uh, mill him out, actually. Yeah, my goal is to mill him out. What's this? That one. He can do his seven damage. I might even bounce him. I will. Because that clears out a fair number of cards. No blocks. 
Um, And um, let's see. <laughs> well, I want the season of renewal. Case of the locked hothouse would be nice. Um, but yeah, those two really are pretty much it that I really like. Season or no, uh, okay, it's a little locked hot house. And honestly, season of no. There. Could have done that at instant speed, come to think of it. No attacks. That's what you want to do? Okay. Mm. I do want that back and Thirteen cards, I got twenty seven. This card's a card. Um, this card, that, and I'll keep that. Him. And down, I guess I'll be lost in the maze. Hmm. Him, because he just becomes a land. 
and that. <laughs> hmm. Stupid. It is stupid having that kind of manner. And like Doppelgang is great, you know. That wins a lot. Uh when you see it. And there are decks that just do nothing but that. Uh, not not nothing but. It's like that and caves. That's like their whole thing. Um I really enjoy this deck. I really, really do. Now, things that could be better. It's good if you get it. Getting it back from your graveyard isn't that simple i do wonder whether it might be better to have like another colossal sky turtle or something like that you know because they're they're really really good um and they'd be easier to get back let's use a renewal you know, doing that whole thing uh just like we did back in the kamigawa days um All right, so this is stupid. This is a stupid thing that I'm thinking, and it is not going to be in this deck, but I was just thinking, what if I had a vehicle? Right? Like a... Just some, you know... Okay. I can... Now, if I had a vehicle and I had lost in the maze out, right? Then my creatures could tap to uh, crew the vehicle. And the one in particular that I'm thinking of I've uh, used this in other decks and I could get it back with Colossal Sky Turtle. And I do think Jamil is underperforming a little bit. I mean, it's good if it gets out, of course. But I could get it back with the Colossal Sky Turtle. Get the Colossal Sky Turtle back with the Senate Season of Renewal along with something else. And it would give me the ability, toolbox-wise, to uh, deal with uh, other mill decks that aren't the type of mill deck that I'm like, oh, you don't want to take out their stuff. 
Uh, let me show you what my deck is there. You know, I'll be doing a separate video with it, but um, <clears throat> this is the key card, Insidious Roots. Everything else plays into it. And that is hard to stop. Uh, the only solution I have found for most decks. Uh, it's Karn's Silex. That is something I have uh, put into another mill, self mill deck. Um, so not both, not this one. That was after I ran into it a few times. And it's it's tough. It is tough. You, you, like if you're in blue black, there is no um, like artifact or Enchantment hate. Karn's Silex, I think, needs to be main deck for um, a lot of control decks at this point, at least in best of one. But that's not the case with Lands because I want to keep my spelunking out there. It just makes it so much better. I really don't think I gave this card enough credit um, during uh, Caverns. No. No blue. We're going to risk it. We're going to go with Shuge. Because it is an enchantment. So if he doesn't exile it or something, if he just kills it, it's not such a big deal. Oh, good. I should have held off on that. I should have blocked him. That was me being too eager. Mm -hmm. If he kills him, it's effectively another land. Getting me to the point that I can... make hasty guys. If I draw another one. We're gonna tap you. And doesn't matter. And it's gonna be you. Uh, then we're going to tap you. Nope. And you. Damn it, that's not what I meant. 
and do this. If you don't have spelunking out, you. No attacks. Ooh, nifty. Hmm. 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 You know what? I should have actually maybe animated. Well, no, I didn't know I had that. Crap. You know what? I totally screwed that up. Screw it. No attacks. And, uh, you know, do your damage. How many do we have? One, two, three, but we don't have spelunking. <sighs> well, I'll use him as a blocker. I can do this. I'll take that. I right know that's his game plan. He's probably got like a protection thing or whatever. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Comes in and play tapped. Oh, right. Um, I've got one already, but sure. And I guess what I do here is that. Hmm. Nice. Yeah.
Okay. Really wish I had spelunking. I can do that. And then I don't need him. Because I will let those guys die. There's one thing. Greater than its base power. Oh, who it is. Okay. I'm just doing my thing, you know. Hmm. Okay. So now I do need to do this. So that I can kill him next turn. Hmm. Okay. One. Three, four, five, six. Hmm. We don't get these ones back. Right? Might not win then. No. I needed seven of them. Hmm. Well, I can do actually. Do they get haste? I think they get haste, right? Yeah. All right. Uh... Right. Okay. Ah. No. No, it's just a little bit short. It's 12. Eh, whatever. I guess what I would do is that doesn't matter. It would be spelunking 
I would have needed to have done a little bit more of that. A little more milling. But it was that close to turning the corner there. That particular win eludes me. Very feasible, though. All right. I've been on for an hour because I'm enjoying this deck. But I'm going to uh, start a new stream video on another deck that uh, it's good, you know. But uh, this one's just fun. Uh, um, let me show it again, where it stands right now. Okay. So, key cards. Um, Spelunking. We really like the Aftermath Analyst, uh, but can also do with Titania. It's just that you have to wait a turn. And you got to have, like, more than four. And you got to have one of these in order for it to work for in the graveyard but uh this is the preferred win method um there are others this guy's just like a good utility guy he's not really a threat although he can win against undefended sort of situations same as him uh this guy is a way of using a whole bunch of mana to bring back several key cards, such as the Sky Turtle Season of Renewal. Um, and this is a win condition that does frequently work. But uh, there's other stuff that can do it too. Um, this can be tremendous card advantage. Uh, yeah. So there you go. I will <laughs> see you on the flip side. Um, I'll probably post these a little separately, like a day apart or something. Peace.